So where are we off to this morning? We are going to connect Dreamboat's battery, my 1977 Airstream Argosy motorhome, 20 foot. Um, if you haven't been following that project, go ahead and check our video catalog because we have done quite a bit of work, but it's almost spring and we are going to get him ready to um, get some work done on it. I'm really excited about this. Um, yeah. When we were there last time. Yeah, it's struggling to start. Yeah. We have some sort of parasitic draw. So we yanked the battery and we trickle charged it and hopefully that will be enough to get us where we need to go. Yeah. So. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's an adventure. We'll take you with us if it's uh, an epic flop. So uh, let's enjoy the ride. Ready? So Andrew is moving stuff from Dreamboat to the other project trailer so that we can get working on him and we'll have room on the inside. We are going to start getting him ready to get started, actually. So we'll see. We are getting Dreamboat's battery in. Just cleaning the um, post clamp. Starting voltage is 12.75, 12.76. Uh, we'll see what it is when we arrive. I'm just gonna take off his, I'm gonna take off his air cleaner and check and make sure that when this is being moved by the gas pedal that gas is coming into the bowls and then anybody who's had any sort of classic car or yeah classic car or lawnmower or whatever knows that car cleaner is the magic elixir of life so i kind of use it at oops at explosive okay and then I'm gonna put his air cleaner on so I have a little protection try this one oh maybe I don't know oh please let it work oh Hot damn, here, you can take this piece of junk. Okay, my fuel filter, I can't tell if it has fuel or not in it. I think it does, I think actually. It does. I think it does. So that's next thing we wanna check. I'm gonna go like this. And, oh. go down and seat my dog house. Now we'll see if he fires up. Woo! <sighs> Come on, baby. Kill switch. and materials and just kind of some general storage for the projects that we do and we own and unfortunately if I'm gonna build anything or work in here 
we have to get some space to do so. So Andrew has started. So we've cleared some space in Dreamboat and what we're planning to do is um, start working on designing and building in the interior. And we're not exactly ready in terms of order of operations. You can see like I still have wall patches and that kind of stuff. But what we decided to do is start building in because we don't know exactly what the layout is going to be. and. We've decided that we're gonna to need to put in outlets and all kinds of stuff. And so we wanna sort of base out our layout in the 80-20 and then, and then sort of counterintuitively patch the walls so that um, then we can put in outlets and outlet boxes and, and that kind of stuff in convenient locations for the build. Yeah, a lot of this was modified previously. And so because the walls are open, we can run an outlet to wherever we need it. We'll just handle that later. Right. We plan for the build and dream boat to use a combination of 80-20 and IKEA dimensions. And you can see here that Andrew has started, you can see here that Andrew has started mocking up what will be the side of an IKEA cabinet box. And you can see the IKEA cabinet boxes here that we have from when we had a house. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna use that as a template to make it in this. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> 